the heavyweight champion. You know, I've spent just over nine months defending this belt against every and all challengers. Still, it sits very nicely, but very firmly over my shoulder. I've proved it every day since I won this, and I proved it again tonight, beating Kenny Chiro and Kid Cash. Who? You beat who? Did you pin my shoulders to the mat? I don't think so. You pinned Kenny Chiro, chump. And let me tell you something. Never before has Ireland ever seen such a spectacle that happened tonight. You see this belt? I want you to do me a favor, because I'm coming back. I want you to wipe it down real good. I want you to sleep with it. I want you to shower with it. Because when I come back, this belt is going back 
to the United States with me. So there you go. Whoa. <laughs> so you're such the bad boy on the block, huh? Well, I tell you what, you don't look so bad right now. You didn't look so bad in the ring tonight. When I come back, I'm taking that belt. You got it? You got it? What the hell are you doing here? I beat you. <laughs> you run too soon. Very easy. What? And the man with the... The man with the James Bond blood persona. Getting ready to start this war and listen to this crowd shout for the madman. Two, 
Here Boren credit, he kicked out of his own power that time. Irish lift to the far side, reversal. Here comes Warren, up on top, he goes to the floor. Warren hit hard on the wooden floor here by Brigham. Nothing but impact there. And I would suspect, ladies and gentlemen, that this matchup is just gonna break down before it's all said and done. Sooner rather than later, chaos is gonna rule the ring. And Warren desperately needs to tag out. And here comes the legendary, Tracy Smothers. Smothers in there with LA1. An interesting story about these two men. Tracy Smothers actually helped train LA Warren over in Tennessee. Warren spent, spent four months over there recently training with Tracy Smothers, and Smothers in the wrong part of town. And he's fired his way out. Back elbow nicely done. Smothers the wily veteran. Four up shot and down goes LA Warren. Tag is made to the man with the golden can, the Ballymun Cruiser. Warren and Bruiser have actually been teaming regularly as of late here in IWW and are quite a formidable tag team at that. Lock up now by the Bruiser and Tracy Smith. Arm drag takedown nicely done. And the young man, the Valley Man Bruiser is on top of the world right now. And he better not underestimate Tracy Smothers. Smothers, as I said, a 24-year pro. He's been absolutely everywhere, every major promotion the world over. WWE, WCW, ECW, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling, All Japan Pro Wrestling. He has done 18 tours of the Orient has Smothers, so he's seen it all and done it all in this business. The Bruiser complaining of it, pulling the tights there. And the Bruiser is hot. He is upset. And this is exactly what Tracy Smothers wants. What do you do, pull the tights? Look at El Generico from behind now. The old school boy trip on the Bruiser. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Smothers. Firing up the Ballymont Bruiser and lowering him into a false sense of security. And it may be all full and games right now in there with Tracy Smothers, but let me assure you, he can hurt you and hurt you badly. And the Bruiser now taking over on Smothers. Chop in the corner. And again, tremendous impact. Oh, he just spat. He just spat. On the chest of the legend, and what a shot across the face. Smothers is fired up. Shots all over the torso of the Ballymont Bruiser. And again, what a shot, my God. The Bruiser felt that one. Tracy Smothers is on fire. Oh, my God. The Bruiser being beaten from pin in the post. And a thumb to the eye for good measure. Side rush and leg sweep. The veteran hooks the leg. Two LA Warrens in there and interrupts the count. But here we go. It's a Donny Brook, ladies and gentlemen. All had us broken loose. I'm not even gonna try to call this action all over the place. Bodies flying everywhere. And Tracy Smothers and co have clean house. Wait a minute, the Ballymont Bruiser just got a microphone from Reese. Close fist. Who now? I'm sick of fooling. How about we have that little dance while we're talking, eh? We do it to the death. Here we go. Dance off. We have to see this. Can we not record this part, please? Dance off. Come on, ref, that's illegal! 
I don't think anybody wants to dance right now. Maybe Cash wants to dance with that nightstick all over somebody's face. And Warren's in there, I don't think he wants to be in there at all. What is going on here? Potential dance off, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, come on, there are children watching this. There are young children watching this. Why are we recording this? Oh, come on. We're a one that might have a death in this fight. You ain't my one.
Mandrake. In there with Lupin Matsutani, who just scored that very quick elimination on Madman Manson. <laughs> Off the ropes. Beautiful high elbow elevation there by the Blackheart Warrior Mandrake. And Mandrake now gets his face breaked by Lupin Matsutani. And the Ballymont Bruiser just hammering away mercilessly on the back of the head. A Mandrake. He's been mugged over there. All four men having three shots at Mandrake in the corner. This is horrible. Snap mare takeover by the Bruiser. Forearm to the spine. A battle of press. No one can only. You're not going to put Mandrake away that quickly. And a knee drop right to the face. And again, right to the side of the jaw. Another cover hook of the leg this time. No, two count. And the Bruiser now hooking up a sleeper, trying to slow down the Black Heart Warrior. Mandrake is a tremendously tough individual, ladies and gentlemen. He is actually a former gold medalist, a world champion in Taekwondo, and also a two-time silver medalist in the Taekwondo World Games as well, back in 2002 and in 1999, respectively. The arm has dropped two times in this sleeper hold of it drops one more time. This, this will be it for Mandrake. But Mandrake trying to get back to his feet. Trying to get that rush of adrenaline. Elbow to the midsection. And again, off the ropes he comes. Under the clothesline. Under the elbow as well. Tremendous impact. And Tracy Smothers and Kid Cash. Along with El Generico, trying to get this crowd into this contest. The Bruiser, rolling this corner, makes it back to Viper. And here comes Tracy Smothers on the far side. Four out of the face, and again. Ali takes one also. Backhand blows by Tracy Smothers. A shot. A stiff forearm right across the face of Ali. Double knock and knocker, perhaps no. The Bruiser and Viper blocked that one. Tracy recovering, and both heads collide. A meeting of the minds once again. A meeting of the half wits. Ali takes a DDT to the canvas. Tracy Smothers in control. Complete shot on the belly of Bruiser. That should do it. If Tracy covers him here, he's going to have him. No, Viper's in. Spear takedown, a cover, a cover of Viper. But the Bruiser interrupts the count. Man, this action is non-stop, it's hot and heavy. As only you can expect in Irish room wrestling. And the Bruiser back over to break up another pin attempt by Tracy Smothers. The Bruiser out in there with Smothers. There was no legal tag made there, but who's keeping score? Harry takes a second DDT. He's got to be out of it. The referee needs to maintain control. There's two against one in there, Rev. Open your eyes. Smothers, nonetheless, in control. Trying to choke out. Kenikiro Ari. And Matsutani in there now. Breaking things off. A cover on Smothers after the shot to the back of the head. And it's over. The Wild Ed Country Boy Tracy Smothers has been eliminated! Smothers has been eliminated, I can't believe it after that shot to the back of the head. And now we're done it. It's four against three here. El Generico on fire in the corner, hammering away on the head of Lupin Matsutani. But Matsutani, to his credit, fires right back on El Genetico. Tag is made to the Bruiser. The man with the golden can. A man who has been on a serious rise here in Irish Whip Wrestling in recent months. Ever since that victory over Doug Williams a few months ago. Here comes El Genetico. Ole, ole in the corner. The Bruiser is out. The Bruiser is out of it. Alex and Erica look the vision off from the top.
Long splash! That's got to do it too! The Bruiser's out of here! The Bellyman Bruiser has been eliminated! Continues the action does not stop, ladies and gentlemen. Big Pfeiffer right in there, hammering away on that genetical. It's down to three on three. We're back to even sides here. El Genetic on up. Being picked up by the IWW champion. Genetico back into the corner. That's exactly where he does not want to be. Tag is made. To Kenny Kiro Hardy. Hardy with the first the midsection. El Genetic on up. Being set up. From the far side. Back. Body drop to the This is going to be with two. No. Two count only, says the referee. This action has been non-stop, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team elimination action at its finest. And listen to those chops, both men laying in the leather. Down goes El Genetico. El Genetico, excuse me, desperately looking for that tag. Mandrake with the arm outstretched. But Artie cuts him off, and here comes Big Viper once again. The IWW International Heavyweight Champion with a spinal tap, a series of them. Here comes Viper. Into Curry right to the back of the head, the executed hook the leg. No, two count only, I thought that might have been it. Viper, off guard. Beautiful jawbreaker by El Genetico, and he needs to tag out. But he's going up top again. This could be a mistake. From the top, wait a minute. Matsutani just hopped down from the apron, but it's Viper who cuts Genetico right off and crotches him on that top turnbuckle. Look at Venom's kiss. Venom's kiss. And that's it for El Genetico. El Genetico has been eliminated. But King Cash right back in there on Big Viper, stopping the life. Out of the IWW champion. Literally stomping the life out of him. Oh. Up goes Viper. Belly back, Sandbacks. He's just dumped down to the canvas. A cover. And Ari in, in to interrupt the count. King Cash, one of the most intense athletes I've ever seen inside a wrestling ring. Oh my god, he just dumped Big Viper down to the canvas. He dropped him like a bad habit. And a stop. Oh, come on, below the belt. King Cash. Doing everything it takes to win here. He's cleaning house entirely. Ivory shift to the far side. High back elbow by Cash. Lateral press, hooks the leg. And no, Matsu Matsutami just got the hand in there to interrupt the count at the last split second. So Andrei came there with a shot right to the chest. That again, making a trifecta. And that martial arts background coming into play for the Black Heart Warrior. Lateral press to it, no. Big Viper. Oh, wait a minute, low blow again. I think the referee went undetected by the, the official, but a blatant low blow by the IWC champion. And here comes Matsutami. Series of forearm shots by Kenikiro Matsutami. Excuse me, Lupin Matsutami. And now Mandrake taking over, scoops him up. Slam right down to the canvas, tremendous impact. Hooks the leg, this could do it, two. And it's over. Matsutami's out of Lupin Matsutani has been Kid Cash, Mandrake, taking the IWW champion down, through to the midsection by Ari on Mandrake. Double suplex.
Suplex, Cash counters, as does Mandrake. Suplex by Cash. I've got the 10th level. Mitchell Oko, driver, it's over. Kenny Clear, RV, and the Snake Man, Big Faber have been eliminated. Here are your winners, the team of Mad Man Manson, El Generico, the Black Hat Warrior Mandrake, Brian Lloyd, Country Boy, Tracy Summers, and the notorious KID, Derek We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We won, we did. Hey, everybody saw the shenanigans, everybody saw. We had the dance off one, man. We hit the swim, we hit the alligator, and we got jumped from behind. We, we got eliminated, but Mandrake and Kid Cash pulled it out. Tell them, Cash, what's happening? We did it, baby. Every single one of them, 10-man tag. We saw it, they saw it, we did it, we all did it. Here he is. Tonight was a war, but when all the chaos was through, when the dancing and the violence was over, when the dust settled, it was these ten warriors that all together stood five. victorious. Five of us, there would be five. 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 I guess I got hit in the head too much. Technically, I am six men, so that works pretty good. Right. Si, si. Ole, ole. I agree with that. We won, everyone else lost, but we're great, aren't we? Hey, did you get that new tattoo? It's awesome. See mine? I'm great. I'm great. I love you, man. I love you too, Tracy. Thank you. Yeah. And the referee right now has got the prize in his hands. That very coveted Zero Gravity Championship. And since its inception just two months ago, as you said, Bam Katras, it has become one of the most prized possessions in all of European wrestling. We've had wrestlers from England, from France. We've got wrestlers from Mexico competing right here tonight for that very coveted championship. Oh, oh yes, Eamon. I know myself, I, I'd like to taste that goal. I want that belt too, but tonight I think I'm well happy just to sit here and watch these guys go at it. Well, no doubt, Bab Katraz, after this matchup, I'm sure you'll be one of the top com top contenders for that very championship. And you will have your day in the ring with the Zero Gravity Champion, whomever he may be down the line. A nice show of respect there by all the competitors in this match. They all want that belt put. They all respect each other. No question about it. The thing about the Zero Gravity athletes is, you're not gonna see action like this anywhere else. These men go out there every single night and put not only their bodies, but their very lives on the line, as you as you well know, Bam Katras. Yeah, oh, some of the things these guys can do. Red Vinny, the master of the teardrop and the triple six, two of the most death-defying moves in wrestling. And as you can see now, squaring up to old rival, Bingo Balance. These two have an incredibly, incredibly uh, storied history. They certainly do. They Just fought each other many different occasions, Bam. Just thinking about it right now, oh. Excitement. Before we get underway, Bam Katraz, I want to congratulate you on your matchup earlier on tonight with Nigel McGuinness. What a war it was. You did everybody here at Irish Rip Wrestling extremely proud. Put up a great fight against a great veteran in Nigel McGuinness. Congratulations and well done on that matchup. Well, thank you very much, Eamon. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up for the victory tonight, but I'm sure I gave Nigel a good run for his money. You certainly did. There's no question about it. The reaction of the fans after that matchup spoke volumes. Now, oh, here we go, here we go. Quick. Oh. Vinny nice and, shot double, to the Vinny and Bam, or, excuse me, uh, Bingo Ballant's in there right now. Action way too fast to call here, right? It certainly is. Tight headlock on there by Bingo Ballant. Ooh. Beautiful top wrist lock into a side headlock by the Heretic Red Vinny. These two guys are moving fit, qu quicker than El Ligero after a, a bowl of guacamole. Ooh. Here we go, here we go. Bulldog take down by Balance, nicely done. You talk about innovators in cruiserweight action. You're looking at one right now, Bingo Balance. Here we go already, he's gonna dive, man. Clear, clear the arena. Oh, wait a minute, look at the tremendous agility of Bingo Balance, hanging oh. on that top rope. Vinny with a 619 right through the ropes. The Heretic outsmarting Bingo Balance on that particular occasion. Whoa. Balance lands on his feet like a cat. And now both men resorting to fisticuffs here. Double forearm shots. Tag is made to El Ligero. 
and to Bubblegum. Here we go, the two international stars about ready to get it on here in Donnacarney. Now these two also have a storied history. They've been rivals and tag team partners on very, very many occasions. So these guys, as Vinny and Balance do, know each other incredibly well. And that certain fact Bob Catraz will make it even more difficult for one of these men to gain victory in this match since all four men know each other so well. Oh yes. They will have scouted each other's moves extremely well. But that only means one thing for these fans, pure and utter entertainment. No question, as only Irish whip wrestling can bring you. Wrist lock now applied by Bubblegum. Here we go. As you said, the master of the Bubble Buster. He's also got the Juicy Fruit Driver. Beautiful kip up there by El Ligero into the wrist lock of his own. You know, I'm just getting hungry thinking about some of those moves. Nice roll through there by Bubblegum. Nice snapmare take over into the Reverse chin lock and now into the wrist lock by El Ligero. You know, these guys going back and forth here at Holes. The point of this is to try and weaken down your punch, try and wear him down so he can't move fast. Because as you know, all these guys, 10 out of 10 in speed. No doubt about it. No, no question about it. And technical prowess, as we're seeing right now. El Ligero has got six years' experience, ladies and gentlemen, debuting in September of 2001. Bubblegum giving up a little bit in terms of experience, but not a whole lot. Leapfrog by Bubblegum, nicely done. These two seem to weigh just about the same, so there's definitely no, I'd say, just about around the same strength. Beautiful deep arm drag there by Bubblegum, tilt the world back, breaker is countered into another arm drag. This is all coming down to endurance and cardio, Eamon. Indeed, that's what these zero gravity matches are all about, Bam. As you well know, these four men are four of the most well-conditioned athletes in